Okay, so then what's next? Oh, the ESP. Oh man, the external signal processor. What? You know what? Actually, let's keep this pink noise sample and hold going because it's 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 just so much fun. And then so we're gonna go into total, and we're gonna do a clock signal through the square wave. Okay, cool. I need another patch cable. Uh oh. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the Behringer patch cables that they provided me. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to run this through the external signal processor. Maybe you could put this up here and make it a little bit easier to see. There we go. Hey, that's nice. So what we would do is we would uh, take the output. I'm already using this. Okay, cool. So the signal out does not break the connection of the, the main quarter inch output on the back. So I think I can take this into the signal in of the ESP. And then from there, I'm gonna take the output. Well, there's, it's a split signal. So you have one signal that's going through a band pass filter. You have a, high, a low pass and a high pass, similar to the, what you have over here. And then you also have a frequency to voltage converter. So you can control the synthesizer with incoming pitches, kind of like a guitar, possibly. It's not the best. You got to twiddle with it uh, quite a bit to get any kind of useful sounds. But one of the traditional tricks of the uh, the MS20 and, and by default the the Behringer K2 is to run the signal of the synth back into itself, and then bring that back out and get some crazy get some get some crazy nonsense going. So I'll go ahead and take the bandpass filter out and we'll put that back into the external signal in and check this out. So I turn up the signal level, it's gonna start distorting. You can see the peaks. Let me turn this up. It's a high cut. They, they label it differently. This is basically a low pass filter, and this is a, a high pass filter. Similar situation, you have it at 10, it's fully open. Uh, but in any, any case, so with this, it's, it's totally just tweaking out the sound quite a bit. You can hear it very loud. And that's one of the cool tricks is like you can kind of feed back the synth on itself and get some really crazy sounds. Gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. I love this synthesizer already. 